whether they're sniffing out explosive devices or leading their blind owners down the steps of a collapsing skyscraper, dogs are capable of great feats of valor and gallantry. That's why, during World War II, the United Kingdom created the Dickon Medal, an award given to animals who exhibit heroism in times of conflict. In years past, Kevin and Des, two nine-year-old Belgian shepherds who served in the United Kingdom's military as bomb sniffers, might have also been recipients of the Dickon Medal. After all, during their years of military service, both dogs identified several explosive devices, potentially saving thousands of lives. Instead, however, Kevin and Des will have to settle for being recipients of a little human compassion. Just four years after their work in Afghanistan, military chiefs have made a decision regarding these two heroes' futures that have sparked controversy throughout the world. Because Kevin and Des evidently cannot be rehomed, the powers that be decided they must be euthanized. Stunningly, both dogs face lethal injections later this week, but not if their vocal online support has anything to say about it. This is such a cruel way to treat these animals that have given us so much, one of the dog's previous handlers said. People who worked closely with these dogs are devastated at the plans, they've begged to save them all. In protest, quite a few of the dog's previous handlers and advocates wrote to the commanding officer at the Defense Animal Center. Outrage at the dog's fates generated a lot of support for an online petition started by former SAS Sergeant Andy McNabb, who seeks to save Baz, Kevin, and a former police dog named Driver who was also sentenced to death. On the petition, Sergeant McNabb wrote, Experienced handlers have come forward to say they want to house the much-loved dogs, who have helped save hundreds of lives. But would the petition be enough to win the fight? Just to remind people about the true heroism these dogs offer, Sergeant McNabb detailed his own experience with bomb-sniffing dogs. In Afghanistan when I was on a patrol, the dogs found an IED in front of us. I was number three in line. I was very, very lucky to survive. Another ex-military man has made a prominent push to save the dogs as well. Alan Parton, founder of a charity called Heroes for Hounds that provides specially trained dogs to disabled veterans, told The Independent, these dogs do wonderful things, and some are trained to be attack dogs and other things, and this makes them harder to home. Even still, experienced handlers have come forward to offer homes to these heroic canines, but ultimately, the commanding officer gets the final say. In the case of Daz, Kevin, and Driver, the commanding officer isn't going to take any chances, especially after a recent incident in which a former army dog bit a civilian, the Sun reported. Wherever possible we endeavor to rehome military working dogs, an army spokesperson told the Sun. Sadly there are occasions where this is not possible. Those occasions might not be as rare as you hope, in 2012. The Mirror reported that 807 military dogs had been put down in the prior decade. Hopefully, it's not too late to save Baz, Kevin, and Driver.